Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Excel automatically enables the autosave feature when you save a workbook using the newest file formats to an online destination like OneDrive or SharePoint. Autosave saves the file to the online location every few seconds as you work. You can toggle the autosave feature on or off for the current workbook by clicking the autosave toggle button in the upper left corner of the workbook window in the quick access toolbar. When enabled, you can choose to manually save changes and also update the file with any changes made by other users of a shared file by clicking the save button in the quick access toolbar. However, note that you cannot click the save command in the backstage view when autosave is enabled. You can make a copy of a file when autosave is enabled by clicking the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Save a Copy command that appears at the left side of the backstage view to open the save locations in the area to the right. This works the same way as initially saving the file. However, note that the saved copy is completely separate from the original file and changes you make to the copy are not reflected in the original file. However, this is useful for making changes to a copy of the file you don't necessarily want other users to see when working on the original shared online file. You can also easily reverse changes you make to an online file with autosave enabled by using the same undo feature you use on locally saved files. However, in addition, you can also revert an online file with autosave enabled back to a previous save state. One way to do this is to click the drop-down at the right end of the file's title within the title bar, and then select the Version History command from the drop-down menu. Alternatively, you can click the File tab in the ribbon, click the Info command at the left side of the workbook if necessary, and then click the View and Restore Previous Versions link under the Version History section to the right. Either way, the Version History panel then appears at the right side of the workbook window. The various file save states appear sorted by date. You can scroll through the list and then click the version of the file to which you want to revert the current file to load the saved version in a separate window. A message box then appears at the top of the copy of the file above the formula bar stating that this is a previous version. You can then either copy content from the saved copy window into the current versions window, save the previous version as a copy, or click the restore button in the message box to restore the old copy of the file and overwrite the new copy. Alternatively, you can simply close the copy of the previous version to exit it without making any changes. If you want to stop Excel from automatically enabling autosave for all online files by default, you can click the File tab in the ribbon. Then click the Options command at the left side of the backstage view to open the Excel Options window. Then click the Save category at the left side of the Excel Options window. Uncheck the Autosave OneDrive and SharePoint Online Files by default on Excel checkbox to the right. Then click the OK. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.